But a free press is also essential for our democracy. Our freedom as a nation rests on our freedom of the press. We also live in a democracy uh, where a free press, free expression, uh, and uh, the open flow of information helps hold me accountable. President Obama said he's all about freedom of the press, so why is the administration rolling out a controversial new program to probe media outlets and grill them on how they report the news? Sitting us right now is a man that's heads exploding because of this. <laughs> yeah. Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. What will they think of next? I mean, is this unbelievable? It, it, it is unbelievable. And, well, and first let's explain where it came from. Where, where, this, this came from the White House. This actually came from the White House an instruction to the Federal Communications Commission, which does regulate Fox. It doesn't regulate Fox News Channel or Fox Business Network, right. but it regulates many entities owned by our parent corporation that also owns us because of the licenses we need from the FCC in order to transmit our, our programming. And so the FCC has said, we're thinking of sending agents into newsrooms mm -hmm. to see how you determine what news stories to carry. Now, if that doesn't chill the freedom of the press, if that doesn't make you wonder and worry, my God, are the feds going to approve this decision that I'm making? Sure. Is a, then that is a direct violation of the First Amendment. Clearly. And, and then you, you look at what has happened, what was revealed in the last year, where the Department of Justice targeted the uh, Associated Press, targeted our own James Rosen, yes. because they were involved in some, somebody who was uh, leaking information to them, next thing you know. You put those two, two things together, it's chilling. It's absolutely chilling. Chilling is a term of art to uh, people that study the Constitution. And it basically means you are afraid to express yourself fully because the federal agents are looking over your shoulder. Absolutely. And guess what? They're the listening first... in on your phone calls. Correct. So. Well, we already know they're listening in on our phone calls. They just beep to me because they're listening to exactly what I'm saying here without even watching us on television. They're, looking at, they're paging you? Just about. Uh, they, they are reading our emails, they're, they're reading our texts, they're looking at our, our bank statements, they're reading our utility bills. They know everything they about They put us. out my garbage last night. Well, that would be nice if they did that. Now they want to know ahead of time what news we're going to cover. Those pieces you just ran of the president praising the First Amendment right. were accurate and true. What he forgot to say, however, is that this freedom is not just necessary and vital. It's absolutely guaranteed in the First Amendment, beyond dispute. There is no case that stands for the contrary of that proposition. Can it survive based on the pressure that it's going to receive? I don't think so. That's a great question. This, this is a radical new era of tyranny for the White House. I can't imagine it getting to first base. Right, now what do you recommend Roger Ailes do? If the FCC shows up here, Mr. Ailes, throw them out! Unless they have a search warrant from a judge, which they'll never get. Well, I can't imagine any editor or any uh, boss at any news outlet allowing them in. Because right now it is voluntary, isn't it? Well, all these things start are always voluntary. voluntary. This is like Joe Biden putting his arm on the shoulder of the president of BP saying, we need 20 billion uh, bucks. You'll volunteer that, won't you? While right. the arm is still there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing's voluntary with the government. It's scary. It's All scary. right. Uh, Judge Napolitano, thank you very much. Brian, you got me up early on this one. Uh, oh, you were <laughs> flying in the hole. This uh, is what it has woken you right out of bed. It's so startling. Thank you, Judge.